Today we're exploring how can I terminate my warehouse lease. Hi everyone, Edison Vasquez at Combria. I hope everyone is doing well. Business is always changing. It's no exception for warehouse users. It could be that the business is growing fast and needs more warehouse space to expand, or there's excess warehouse that you're not using or don't need the entire space anymore. So what are the options to terminate an existing warehouse lease? Here we explain. Number one is a termination clause. It's the easiest and fastest way. Look at your lease and see if there's a termination clause that was negotiated during the negotiations for the lease. That might be the easiest way to terminate a lease. We always suggest to tenants to negotiate a termination clause added into the lease. This might give you the flexibility to move or relocate during the term of the lease. If the termination clause is on the lease, then you can exercise it and notify the landlord according to the terms of the termination clause. Number two is discuss with the landlord a potential termination of the lease. And within this, there's many factors that can affect and push the landlord to terminate or not terminate the lease. The first one is depending on how far you are into the lease, the landlord may agree to terminate your lease. For example, if you have a five year lease, and you are at the end of your third year or going into your fourth year and you have less than one year, the landlord may consider terminating your lease and putting that space back on the market and get a longer term tenant. Additionally, or in combination to this, the landlord may terminate your lease if the rate in the market is substantially higher to what you're paying. For example, if you are paying $5 per square foot now to your landlord, and the rate in the market is seven, eight, nine, or even $10 per square foot, the landlord might benefit from terminating your lease and putting a new tenant at a higher rate and a longer term. In that case, the landlord may agree to terminate your lease with or without any penalties. A third option is to explore spaces within the landlord's portfolio. For example, if a landlord owns multiple properties and one of these spaces fit your current needs, it might be good and it might be a win-win to look at that space and the landlord relocate you from your current space to that new facility. Whether it's larger or smaller, it might help expedite things and it might help you get the right space that you need currently and the landlord to not lose you as a tenant and to keep you in the portfolio as you continue to grow your business or you continue to stay in the landlord's portfolio. Additionally, the landlord may not do any termination fees or penalties if you move within the portfolio and this will help you grow your business and continue to operate in the right space. And last but not least, when you have exhausted all the options is to put the space for sublease. If you have talked to the landlord, have tried to do uh, negotiate a termination clause and you're still looking to expand or downsize, then consider subleasing the space. When you sublease the space, you find another company that will sublease or take over your lease. The first step is to put the space in the market. And for that, we always recommend to hire an experienced broker. In the case of industrial space, always hire a broker who specializes on industrial space. The benefit of this is that the broker will procure a prospective tenant or a subtenant that will be looking for that space. And the benefit is that if that tenant is looking for a longer term space or do a lot of improvements in the space, the landlord might be willing to terminate your current lease to sign a new lease with a prospective tenant. In that case, the landlord might release you from your current lease and sign a new lease with this prospective tenant, longer term and probably at a higher rent. So it could be a win-win situation. So it's important to expose that space to the market to procure the right tenant that can benefit both you and the tenant. So hope this helps and thanks for following us. As always, we're proud to help tenants and owners in the sales and leasing of industrial space here in South Florida. Please visit our website at warehousesmarket.com for more information and the latest listings. Take care, be safe. Thanks for watching and thanks for following us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can go to warehousestv.com, visit all of our videos on the library. 
You can also follow us on social media on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can always visit our website at warehousesmarket.com for all information on industrial real estate and our property. We look forward to hearing from you. Take care.